positive results never come from negative thoughts. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. This episode of 7 Good Minutes is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books into your life. Start a 30-day trial with Audible today and your first audiobook is free. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash free book. In today's audio clip, Joel Osteen talks with us about the need to sometimes cleanse your mind of toxic thoughts. Enjoy. I want to talk to you today about detoxing your mind. We hear a lot about detoxing our physical bodies, how there can be chemicals in the food that are harmful, bacteria can build up, even pesticides in the air. Many people don't realize it, but their bodies are full of these harmful toxins. That's what's causing them to feel bad. Most experts will recommend that you go through a deep cleansing where you put yourself on a fast, you eat a certain diet, staying away from everything harmful, and over time you can rid yourself of those toxins and begin to feel much better. In the same way, there are all kinds of toxins that can build up in our mind. When we go around dwelling on the wrong thoughts, thinking about what we can't do, and how somebody hurt us, how we'll never get ahead, those thoughts are toxic thoughts. And toxic thoughts left alone become like toxic waste that will eventually contaminate our whole life. It affects our self-image, it affects our attitude, our level of confidence. It becomes a part of who we are. Make guarding your mind a priority. Put this at the top of your to-do list. Because if your mind gets polluted, your whole life is going to be polluted. You probably know people right now that are bitter, cynical. They always expect the worst. They have a sour attitude. Why is that? They've allowed these toxic thoughts to take root. Now they've become strongholds that are poisoning their future. What's the solution? They need to go through a detoxification. Not a physical cleansing, but a mental cleansing. And some of you today, you need to detox the bitterness. Detox low self-esteem. Detox the negative words spoken over you. Detox condemnation from past mistakes. How do we detox? You make a decision, you're not going to dwell on it anymore. You have to starve those toxins. Every time you dwell on a negative thought, that condemnation, that bitterness, that low self-esteem, you are feeding it. You're giving it new life, making it stronger. When those thoughts come saying, you're never going to get well, you heard what the doctor said, or you're never going to be happy, you've been through too much, you're never going to accomplish your dreams, Instead of dwelling on it, just turn it around and say, no, I'm not going there. I'm not dwelling on who hurt me. I'm not dwelling on my past mistakes. I'm not dwelling on what I don't have. If you'll ignore the toxic thoughts and keep your mind filled with thoughts of faith, thoughts of victory, those toxic thoughts will get weaker and weaker. And before long, they won't have any effect on you. I have a friend that's trying to get healthier. Right now, he won't eat any kind of meat. He only drinks water, and he won't eat after a certain time at night. The other day, I offered him a soft drink. He didn't even think twice. He said, no, that's not on my eating program. He's on a strict diet. That's the way we need to be when these toxic thoughts come to our mind. Thoughts of worry, low self-esteem, can't do it thoughts. When they arise, just say, thanks, but no thanks. That's not a part of my diet. I don't dwell on thoughts of fear. I don't dwell on thoughts of inferiority. I don't dwell on thoughts of defeat. That's not a part of my eating program. And some of you today, you don't have the joy you should. You don't have the victory, the confidence. It's because you are not eating a healthy diet. I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about mentally. You're eating too much junk food. Junk food is the toxic thoughts that we allow to pollute our mind. Things like 
Joel, I'm just average. I've already reached my limits. Or I miss so many good opportunities. No, you need to get back on your diet. Those toxic thoughts are not a part of your eating program. And I'm asking you today to go on a fast with me. Not a fast from food, although that probably wouldn't hurt us. But how about a fast from negative thinking? A fast from condemnation. A fast from bitterness. A fast from little dreams. A fast from can't do it thoughts. Let's starve those toxins. Let's not give them any power to affect us. Every morning when we get up, we should go through this cleansing. In our mind, we should release any bitterness, forgive the people that have hurt us, let go of every disappointment. Start your day off in faith. Start your day off believing. Don't allow those toxins to build up. Just lay in there in your bed. You can say it under your breath. This is going to be a great day. I have God's favor. I know I'm empowered to overcome every obstacle. I have the strength to overlook every offense. I have the grace to rise above every disappointment. And I'm making a decision right now that I'm going to be happy and enjoy this day. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.